everyone, my name is Eminem Nom, and welcome back to Finding Paradise. Now, uh, we just started Act 1, and uh, we're gonna start with Dr. Rosaline here. Huh, this is a quaint, this is a quaint, a quaint, not a quiet, a quaint place you got here. Colin's in the other room, come with me. Uh. Right down to business, I like that. Do you actually? Yeah, because right now I just really need to put this box down. <laughs> oh, I love, I love Neil. He's so funny. He's in here? Oh, he's over there. Wow, this is a big house. You must be here for my father. Asher. Hello, Asher. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry, your father's dying. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm supposed to move. Okay. Can we, can we talk to you? You're the patient's son? Yeah, I came as soon as I heard. But we can talk later. Well, why don't you get set up first? That box looks heavy. See? He gets it. Alright, sorry. Better not disturb him in this state. Okay, well, how do we get set up? Are you guys ready to get settled? Uh, yeah, let's set the machine down. Yeah, just give us a moment. We can look, or I'll look around a little bit later. I mean, this lady is already kind of annoyed. You should probably... Ooh, Neil and his techie self working on the computer. Is the power here sufficient? Why does everyone keep asking that? It'll work fine, sheesh. But first, brace yourselves for a power outage of cinematic proportions. Whoa. Why do I not remember this from the last time? Huh, I guess you got a more stable power grid than our headquarters. That's equally comforting as it is worrisome. Why is it worrisome? You're in good hands. We do this all the time. Too much of the time, if you ask me. I remember being mad at Neil last time for getting for being all negative, but I like Neil. He's he's interesting, and I remember at the uh, spoilers spoilers for those of you who haven't watched uh, the To the Moon playthrough or seen anything about the games. So plug your ears. Uh, but in To the Moon, at the very very end, after you uh, send Johnny to the moon. Neil, like, feels like this intense amount of pain, and like he takes some sort of pills. And I don't know what that's about, but I have a feeling it's gonna show up again here in this uh, game. So maybe we'll actually find out what that really is. Uh, so, to so you two are for real. What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean, lady? He can really fulfill his wish. We'll certainly try our best, man. Uh, but we always succeed, because it would only be in his head, though. Not like he'd be able to tell the difference. Anyhow, fess up. What is it that he wants? He wouldn't tell us. He said it doesn't affect us, and we have nothing to worry about. Well, that sounds legit. Look, that's... Okay, we'll find out from him soon enough. Isn't it also in the paperwork? Yeah, but who reads that stuff? <laughs> paperwork. Blech. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But seriously, where did the file go? It wasn't in the box? Nope, guess I must have left it in the car. Alright, I guess we got a while. I guess we got time while this sh machine's booting up anyway. Who goes to fetch the file? You know what? I, I, I don't trust. I don't trust you, Neil. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send Rosaline. Cause last time that didn't really work out so well. Well, someone's gotta go get it, and that someone could be you. But you're the one who forgot it. Exactly. Do you want me to go get it? Do you want me to go back there and forget it again? Uh, see, this is why we're not gonna send Neil. <laughs> Cause he would just forget it. I've updated the system. It's practically configuring itself now. 
Cool, that'll save some time. Alrighty, down to business, huh? Oh, are you the doctor from last time? Same doctor? Hey, I recognize you. Yeah, it's been a while. Hey, it is the same doctor! Nice! Although, weren't Dr. Winner and Dr. Lin assigned to this patient instead? Yeah, but they had a full roster at the time, so we took over. Saved their arses. Ironically, turned out they got nothing to do today. Hmm, I guess you never know the timing with the nature of your job. Anyhow, don't mind me, I'm just gonna check on the patient. You're a cool dude, doctor. Okay, well, I'm gonna go get- I'm gonna go get the- Hey, you should probably go get Colin's monitor from Mr. Doctor over there first. Yep, on it. Oh, okay. Oh, we're doing the monitor thing again this time. Uh, that sun is on edge. Very on edge. Here, this should help. Received remote patient monitor. Press escape or right click to open the menu. Excellent. Now, him having a heart attack would probably give me one too. I said, okay, yeah, so it's the same as the last time. Items. Uh, no notes. Can we save though? Yeah, let's save. Okay. Um, okay. So let's go back and grab the file. Oh, the machine is booting up. No? Okay. I guess I can't look at anything, so. I probably shouldn't go wandering around in this person's house. Cause that'd be kinda weird. Chris Q to, or mouse click to switch between characters. Why? Oh. Well, it's entered automated configuration mode. It does that now? Yep. My handiwork with the sole purpose of setting myself free to play. But instead, I gotta go gather background info on the patient. Well, I'll go keep an eye on the patient. That's how you get lazy eye. Keep both eyes on him, please. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, okay, uh, Q. Let's go back to the car and get what we came for. This is weird. So now we have a new thing where we can alternate between different people. That wasn't a thing last time. Oh, hey, kiddo. How are you doing? Hey, you got your bear back. Yep, a nice lady in the brown dress swooped it, swooped into the pond and got it for me. Swooped? Yeah, she didn't even touch the water. Right. Please tell your parents to watch your sugar intake. Wait, is the other girl's, is, it, is the other girl's thing still in the water? The other girl's doll? No, okay. I'm gonna talk to this lady up here. What's she got to say? Who's dying, dear? Pardon me, ma'am? That coat and tag, you're from Sigmund. If you're here, then someone's time is up. Colin Reeds, do you know him? I see. He and his wife used to stroll with my husband and me here every day. Please do your best for him, dear. You sound rather accepting of his faith. After years of seeing everyone around you go, it's hard not to be. But then, you of all people should know that well. What? Hey, Buzz, there's something about you we don't know yet. Is that Amber kid still here? No. Well, her doll is not in the water either, so I'm assuming she got that doll back. Good. Hmm. Ah, digging through the card, Neil. Stupid Neil. He left his stuff. Oh, he didn't leave it in the car. The file isn't in the car either. Doofus must have left it in the office. <sighs> Doofus. 
Ooh, I'm calling my little friend. Dr. Roxanne Winters. Ava! Hey, Roxy, you still at the office? Yep, just waiting on the elevator. Not that you'd understand, but they'd open it instantly for you every time. What? That's a myth. I wait for the elevators, too. Yeah? When was the last time it didn't open instantly? Uh... See, you're either freakishly lucky, or... Okay, okay. For pumpkin's sake. Who says that? <laughs> Look, Neil forgot the patience file. Could you help us out? Okie dokie, Pocky Locky. Poc Pocky Loki? Just give me a moment. Hmm. Okay. Mission accomplished? Neil, the file wasn't in the car. You doofus. You left it at the office. Shh, beep. Forgot it at the office, didn't I? It's fine. I called Roxanne. She's gonna find it and send it over. Send over a scan. Oh. Well, my office is locked, but she should check the printer in the lobby. Yep, she's on it. I'm heading back soon. All right, locking up the car. Heading on back. Actually, let's... Did you find it, Rox? Yep, it was just sitting on Neil's table. Cool beans. Just scan it and... Wait, Neil's table? You're inside Neil's office. Yep, you asked me to get the files, right? Yeah, but Neil said his door was locked. Oh. A girl... Oh, a girl's got her ways. Huh. Elaborate. <laughs> Not like that, silly. I just hacked... His electronic lock like a slice of cheese. Oh, okay. So Roxanne is a badass. Well, uh, just get out of there and send me a scan, would you? Yep, yep, on it. What you see there? You guys got everything else you need? Yep, Neil's setting up the machine right now. How's the weather out there? Huh? Is it nice out for a drive? It's not bad. It's nice and sunny and beautiful. Like a beautiful day s in summer, in springtime. <clears throat> Neato, I think I'll just come over and give, get you the file in person then. What did Roxanne find? What did she find? Um, why? Just scan it and send it over. Saves time for both of us. Well, we've got no patience today. It's boring over here anyway. Anyhow, don't worry. I'll get there before you guys are done. See you about then. Okay, Roxy, have a safe drive. What an oddball, that Roxanne. What did she find in Neil's office? What the hell is Neil hiding? Okay, well, we will find out in the next episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys very, very much. And hopefully, I will catch you guys in the next video. Stay sweet and tasty, you guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.